All right. Could you guys imagine yourself rolling down a dirt hill on four wheels with nothing holding you back? Barbie Jeep racing. If no one's ever heard of it, it's where adults can really channel their inner kid. Go back to their teenage years when they were young. And now they're adults and kind of getting older. So Barbie Jeep racing is something my town does. And I think it's slowly getting more popular. You can look up videos to find it. But basically, you guys remember when you were kids and you had that electric-powered Barbie Jeep and you, like, press the battery-powered pedal and you go, like, three miles an hour and you felt like you were flying? <laughs> well, what you do with Barbie Jeep racing is you rip out the gearbox and the battery and you just, like, it free rolls. And then you race with it. Now, that sounds simple enough, but it's kind of terrifying at the same time when you're rolling on a little kid's toy that you can't even fit in. So there's a few steps you got to take to prepare yourself for the ride. The first thing is preparing your Jeep and yourself. You want to make sure you have the proper riding gear. You need a helmet, a pair of boots, and pants. And according to an article by Sean Dolan, most people will wear like motorcycle leather and goggles. So I guess dirt won't get in their eyes. I've never worn goggles. I've done this before. I usually wear pants and boots because it hurts when you wreck. But this is a pretty good example of what people look like when they get on the Barbie Jeep. The only difference is this Barbie Jeep is in better condition than most of the ones I've been on. Most of the ones I've been on are about 15 years old and dry rotted. And most people hang their feet out so you can like slow down. Now, like I said, most of them are dry rotted that I rode on because they're from your childhood. You got to make sure your Barbie Jeep is rideable. You want to sit in your Jeep. Because sometimes you sit in it and it cracks and you go to the bottom and hit the ground. So you don't want to do that. You want to check the wheels. I was riding down a hill one time and my wheel just flew off the side and I about went over the bank. It was kind of, kind of terrifying. And then you want to make sure that you turn your steering wheel is turnable because you don't want to get halfway down the hill and realize that. So, you know, and I got an example of what you should wear and what you shouldn't wear. So right here, this guy, he knows what's going on. He's got his gloves, his helmet, his boots. He's ready. This girl, she's not ready. She's styling <laughs> and profiling. But if she wrecked on this thing, man, that would hurt right there. But, you know, for picture purposes, that, that's good. That's good. So another thing is, is there's no battery power to your Jeep. So you got to let gravity do the work. So you got to find you a steep hill that makes you feel like you're flying, bringing you back to your young years. And then within that, you probably don't want it to be rocky or have drop-offs because your barber jeep isn't spring-loaded. It will crumble to pieces if you have a drop-off. And then most of the time, if you wreck, I prefer to wreck where it wasn't rocky than where it was rocky. You probably don't want trees around because that would hurt too if you hit them. So now you have the proper gear and the right heel. So the only thing that's left to do is ride the Jeep. Right here is you got a good example of what it looks like. If your area is wide enough, you can like race them. If you have more of a narrow uh, heel, you can do it by time. And uh, I got this video here to just give you guys a, or like just a good example of what it's really like to ride a barbecue. They do actually not crash too bad in this one because I wanted your first experience to be pleasant. <laughs> they got the proper gear on, their boots, their helmets. They're still in kind of weather. They just have the time. Uh, this guy crashed for me. He like, he like falls over. It's, it's pretty funny actually. <laughs> I laugh at it most of the time when I watch it. And according to Saul Nilman, the best way to describe it is it's a rush. I thoroughly enjoy Barbie Jeep racing. I actually done it a couple weekends ago when I went home for my fall, my fall festival at my hometown. But the only thing you need to ride a Barbie Jeep is you got to have the right preparations and gear, a good heel, and a daredevil outlook.